How's it going folks? Welcome back to another exciting episode of Arx Angler. So today is a special day. Today is the maiden voyage of the new Old Town Sportsman Autopilot 120 powered by Minn Kota. Now this is not your ordinary maiden voyage video because we are going to actually really really put this new boat to the test. We are going to travel five miles one way and five miles back and see if the motor on a full charge battery can handle that many miles in one day. And on top of that, we are gonna get super, super skinny folks. I'm talking about six inches or less of water surrounded by razor sharp oyster beds to see if we can catch some redfish today. Now, will this boat handle all that adversity and its first try? I don't know. And of course, we are gonna try our absolute best to see if we can catch a redfish today. Right now we got 45 degree weather temp. I imagine the water temp is gonna be in the high 40s, low 50s. So it might be a little bit tough. All right, that's enough of me talking. Let's get to it. Here we go. Man, I'm telling you what, this this lead battery, 50 pounds, it does bring a lot more weight to the boat, that's for sure. It is pretty, pretty heavy now. So I might have to think about getting a lithium ion battery to better help myself and make my life much easier. All right, here we go. Gotta get our feet wet a little bit, just so we can learn to better launch this boat. All right, good. Good, all right, let me put my wheels up and we'll be out of here. I forgot to take the bungee cord off the rudder so it wouldn't deploy so that bungee cord was there. All right, here we go, one more time. <laughs> That's the thing about these new boats is you gotta get kind of used to the controls and everything so you can stay safe. All right, here we go. Go out here. Okay, my paddle holder is on the right side this time. We're going to get our kill switch and our pilot remote control. Plug in our kill switch. Plug this into our, our life vest here. Oh crud. We got a big barge coming. Okay, the barge is safely passed. Let's go ahead and deploy the motor. We pulled the string here. She, okay, she beeped. She's good to go. Store this in there. Let's move the GoPro out of the way so she can steer just in case. We'll put this right here on the side. Got the iPilot control right here. Turn it on. Okay, there she goes. Let's adjust our pedals just a little bit more up. There we go. All right, here we go. Here we go, man. There we go. We are turning nicely. And we are going to head straight to the back lake. So we are cruising right now. Uh, I imagine we're probably going about maybe four miles per hour. I got it on high setting right now against the wind, against the current. So I don't know. Let's see if we can make it all the way to the back lakes like I plan to do it. You know what, let's go and check our battery just in case. We wanna stop this, all right. Now we're gonna check our battery, test, test, all the way. So she should be good, all the way green. A little bit low, hopefully we don't get stuck out there. <laughs> okay, now that we got a nice cruising speed going on, I'm gonna hit this autopilot button right here. I'm gonna, wait, first I'm gonna turn my, um, 
boat to the direction I wanted to go and just hit this north button right here and it's going to take me straight to where I just pointed it without any problems because it's GPS enabled. This current is actually stronger than I thought it'd be. It's uh, it's really, really putting a lot of drag on my kayak. So hopefully, hopefully this battery will last five miles. Oh man, this would be a pain in the butt to paddle back, manually paddle back if I run out of juice. Well, good thing I have my uh, walkie-talkie so I can call for Mayday just in case. <laughs> All right, so we run into some oyster. Oh yeah, we gotta be careful, man. This oyster will do a damage to your prop. So it might be a good idea to buy some extra ones just in case. But let's see if we can get out of here. All right, ladies and gents, I've been cruising about, eh, about a little bit over 30 minutes. Battery's still on full charge. I have it on 10 max speed. I'm going about maybe three miles per hour, if, if that, because I'm going against the wind, against the current. So um, yeah, I am pretty much almost halfway there. So not bad, not bad at all. Yeah, like I said, I'm going about three and a half miles per hour. This is a little bit more conservative. Like I said, I'm going against the wind and I'm going against the current. Uh, so it goes anywhere from two and a half to three and a half to four. Kind of jumps all around just depending on how strong that current is and how strong a gust of winds I'm taking. Uh, because I am on the upper seat seating. So therefore, when I'm in upper seating, I'm like a big sail <laughs> catching the wind. And there's a lot of resistance, but still a lot of fun. Really, really easy. I'm just chilling and I'm going to a far, far marsh gonna be awesome hopefully there's fish there <laughs> that boater's probably like what the heck is this kayak doing way the heck out here <laughs> oh god that's funny if only i wish this boat can go at least seven miles per hour that'd be freaking awesome but then again anything faster you're going to put yourself in a lot of danger uh being because it's a kayak it's smaller um i don't know maybe old town will uh make the kayak much faster in the future maybe put a uh, a 70 pound or 80 pound thrust uh, trolling motor instead of 45 pound. All right, we're taking some chop from that boat that just passed by. Not too bad, and I am in the highest position seating wise, and I feel very comfortable. Don't feel tipsy at all. Very, very stable. All right, man, I am pretty much almost half, or pretty a little bit past halfway there, about I would say 70%, but we've run into a little dilemma, folks. Check it out. Here's my battery on the motor itself. We are looking at three, okay, that's not bad. I, it was, when I first tested it, it was like right over here. And I was, that's a concern to me. I would have turned around, but if I have this much juice left close to three quarters, I should be fine. So I don't know if that first time I tested it was a fluke or not, but uh, I think I can make it with this power. Uh, I'm just gonna go really slow and then uh, conserve as much energy so I can get back to the ramp five miles back that way. <laughs> All right, ladies and gents, we have made it to our spot. Let's go ahead and turn down the motor right here. Turn this off and let's see how much power we have. Let's see here, testing. Okay, we got about maybe a little under 50%. Uh, that tells me that once I actually get into these back, back deep lakes, I can't use the motor. I just got to push pull myself and then I'll have, I think, enough power to get me back to the launch. So Let's see if we can catch some fish, man. So lesson learned, uh, you can't really go five miles out. Well, you can if you have perfect conditions, but it's not really recommended. <laughs> All right, let's go and start fishing for a little bit. We're gonna start with the paddle tail here, this little channel here. Don't know how deep it is. That's one thing. If you do buy something like this, you do need a fish finder, which I am gonna get eventually um, because something this complex and this uh, intricate needs a fish finding machine or computer rather god there is no water back here my god i mean i shouldn't be surprised with the hard north cold front that we've been experiencing the past two three days all i see is a bunch of oyster <laughs> this is going to be a test for this autopilot for sure 
I think we're going to get some oyster scar on this baby today. Man, that current is coming out really, really strong. Uh, I have my motor on full blast just to go against this current. I don't want to use it anymore to drain the battery. So, and it's very, very shallow everywhere. Goodness gracious, man. Usually I work this side, but it's all oyster. There's no way I can get back there. I might just have to kind of work this drain or rather this, this, this channel here. All right, we are in the shallow folks. So what I was talking about earlier, razor bed, razor blade oyster beds. Don't really think I'm going to see any redfish per se. I mean, if I do, I'm just, I get lucky, but we're going to just kind of cruise around and see if we can see anything. Woo, this wind too, man. This wind does not help. I'm telling you what. Oh gosh. All right, so I enabled uh, spot lock on. We're just gonna sit this one spot right here and just work. These two drains are coming out into this main channel. Just kind of fan cast and blind cast all over. Perhaps I can get a redfish that's swimming by or maybe that's chilling in the mud down there and get lucky that way. I don't want to use the spot lock too long because I don't have enough battery to get home. <laughs> well, just ran the ground on some oyster. I'm going to pull my prop up or it's going to eat it up alive. I just talked to some boaters that just swung by and went into here. They said it's been absolutely slow too. So that, that says a lot. Sorry, I missed that. Could you say it again, please? No. Okay, we are running low, guys. It was here. Now it's here. So we gotta make a tough decision. Keep on fishing or do we head back? I think based on safety reasons, it's probably best if we, uh, we head back and just call it. Hey, so this was more of a maiden voyage just see how far I can get. Uh, five miles one way, honestly, is probably the max extent. That has a lot to do with the conditions and your battery too. All right, let's see how much battery we have left. Oh man, maybe about 20% left. We got a long way to go, folks. I'm gonna try my best to make it. I'm gonna keep my uh, my motor probably around um, setting number five or six. So I'm just cruising and using um, as little battery as possible. Wish me luck. All right, my battery is just about dead and I am trying to <laughs> ate it by paddling myself so lesson learned folks uh, if you do get this boat which is an awesome awesome boat it cannot go five miles one way five miles back plus all the other miles you might put in at your location so let's say let's say safely this boat can travel probably up to up to 10 miles max on a full charge of battery now it's not the boat's fault once again it's uh it has a lot to do with the conditions um your battery power um all that good stuff so i mean the boat is awesome no doubt it's just yeah i wasn't well prepared learning lesson for me and i know it's kind of funny <laughs> to see me suffering like this but uh yeah we'll get there don't worry no worries i got i got upper body straight all right ladies and gentlemen i can't believe it i made it back and my motor has not died so that means the battery is still going check it out i've been cruising about uh, eh, about three miles per hour i would say an average so i'm very very happy kind of relieved i was a little stressed out to be honest with you yeah guys and i apologize i thought i was going to catch some fish today but it just wasn't in the cars the weather was bad even the boaters out there they that i talked to said they didn't really catch any fish so take that for what it's worth i think it was just too cold but uh the boat took me out 10 I would say plus miles but would I do it again probably not um, I would be more well prepared um, this is a learning lesson for me especially for you guys if you are interested in getting a boat like this so yeah oh uh, we have absolutely zero look last meter it's pretty much empty we made it in a nick of time 
All right, ladies and gents, I am ecstatic that I got back safely without running out of juice in my battery just in the nick of time. So if you are planning to buy this boat and you want to take it long distances, I wouldn't stretch over 10 miles just from my experience today. Now you got to consider the winds and the current and all that good stuff and how much load you're putting on the kayak itself, like gear, tackle, all that stuff. That's something you have to think about. But from my experience, I wouldn't do this again. I would not. If I'm going to take this out long distances, it's not going to be more than 10 plus miles unless I have another battery with me. But that makes really no sense if you're using um, lead acid. That's going to be 50 pounds extra weight, uh, which makes no sense. But lithium ion, that's a different story, which will probably be the route that I will head in the future. But anyways, I love this boat. Uh, it's not the boat's fault that I couldn't travel more than 10 miles. Uh, would I do this again? I don't know. Probably not. Not this far of a distance unless I had another battery or if I'm lithium ion, I'm going to buy two sets of them. Uh, then I would do it and I'll have spare juice to, you know, troll myself around the marsh and back lakes of that area I was at so I can thoroughly fish it. But thank you. Thank you so much. I love every single one of you and I'll catch you guys on the next one. This is not a fair